Hi there, everybody. Welcome to episode two of the Slash Roz podcast. This is our second official episode. Um, we did have a another second episode. It was our first impressions of Watch Dogs. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Uh, the link's right there. Um, but what we're going to talk about today is we've gotten pretty far in Watch Dogs. We're going to talk about, you know, our final review. And, you know, all the reasons we liked the game, the reasons we didn't like the game. Um, and there are a lot, unfortunately. Yeah, there's a lot, sadly. And then we're going to talk about some stuff that we've been playing. Um, we're going to talk about a couple articles like we did last week. Uh, not so much about games this week. Uh, we're going to kind of branch out into the TV world, just because TV. Uh, <laughs> and, TV. and Jake's going to go down a list that he found this week. Uh, I found the list last week. Jake found the list this week. By the way, uh, usually the podcast will be on a Saturday. Uh, that was the original plan. Uh, Jake had some stuff going on yesterday. Uh, we couldn't yep. we couldn't arrange it yesterday. Um, so I mean, we're two guys with full time jobs, so it's not going to be consistent. You know, this is when we're going to do it every time. We're going to do it when we can. Our goal is mm-hmm. to bring it to you at least once a week. Yeah, at least. Uh, we are also going to try and sprinkle in a couple videos of our own throughout the week, uh, either together or apart. You know, we might do, you know, Jake might do a vlog, I might do a vlog the next day, something like that. But it's not just going to be the podcast on this channel. Uh, like the Watch Dogs First Impressions, we'll do some first impressions of games where it's both of us. And we'll do some things where it's just the just us single. Mm-hmm. For sure. Uh, so, Jake, why don't we start with you. Final review-ish of Watch Dogs, and how far did you get in the game? Well, Story I'm not actually... Wise. Yeah, wise. I'm not actually... Hi, baby. I'm not actually done with the game. I'm uh, about, in Act 3, about midway. So I've played it a bit. You pretty much get the gist of it after the first couple acts in Act 1. Yeah. So, I mean, there are there's some really cool things, like the breaking out of the prison scene or finding that bunker. I don't want to yeah. get too much into that, but, mm-hmm. I mean, those are pretty cool. The only problem I have is that, like... Like we were talking before the video, the side quests, or whatever you want to call them, they're really repetitive. Every gang hideout feels like I'm just going in there and shooting a bunch of people in the face, and then I'm just punching one dude and I leave. Exactly. Or or every fixer contract feels like I'm just stealing the same car and driving it, or whatever it is you have to do. Yeah. It's, um, uh, yeah. All the side missions are the same thing, basically. I mean, there's five to ten different things to do if you want to call it. Ten. The only reason I say more than five is because of the mini games. I guess you could say. Uh, mm. I played a little poker. The poker in the game is actually pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you've got into that at all. Found like the underground poker. Um, yeah, I found it. But when you know you sit down at the table, it's just like any other poker game. It's Texas Hold'em, and you could win money in the game. It's not the easiest way to make money in the game at all. I mean, it mm. takes a long time. If you win it all, you're only going to win 30,000. Uh, 30, um, and uh, <laughs> and um, the it takes maybe about... I played for about 45 minutes um, in the one game. But it is cool. It's fun. Because you use the hacking to get around the poker. So you cheat, basically. Uh, there's a <laughs> camera behind two of the guys, and you can kind of see their cards. Um and then you could monitor their heart rate to see if they're bluffing uh, if you didn't get to catch their cards in time. It's it's a little glitchy, I noticed that. Like, you can't see the cards every time. There will be times when I'm looking directly at the card, uh, like when they hold it up, and it just won't do anything. Because when it works, it's it says, you know, they have a jack and a queen uh, right in front of them, like mm-hmm. over their character if, you're in, if you press square and go into, like, the hacking mode or whatever. Um, hmm. It was cool. I liked it a lot, uh, but it's just not something that I would do over and over again. And like I said, it's not the best way to make money. Making money in the game is extremely easy. Yeah. Uh, don't even do don't even do the side quests or anything to make money. Uh, I stood yeah. in the in the loop area they had Millennium Park, their version of Millennium Park, which we'll get to later. Um, and I just walked around and uh, and um, all right. Sorry about that. There was a little interruption there. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, uh, the easiest way to make money in the game is to just go to like the loop area um, and just stand around and hack people uh, and steal their bank account information. It's that easy. You go around, you just press square for everybody. That's it. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I don't know. It's fun. I like it. I had fun with it. Um, it's not something I'll replay again. No. Uh, I, I think GTA, I'll get rid of it. GTA 5, I actually played through three times. Um, not because of like the choices that you could make in the game or anything, just because I really enjoyed the story and I liked messing around and you know getting the most money, buying everything. I had fun with the game. I actually 100% of GTA 5. But... Um, well, their version of 100%. I didn't do, like, everything, but they had a progress bar, and it said, you know, do all these side quests, do all the triathlons, all that kind of stuff. Mm. And like we were saying uh, in the other video, in the Watch Dogs review, um, or the first impressions, it when you first get into the game, it seems like it's huge. Like, oh my god, there's so much to do, this is going to be so great. Mm -hmm. But after maybe two or three hours, which is when we did our first impressions, even yeah. then I was starting to feel like this is way smaller than I originally felt. Yeah. Um, you can get to places really quickly. Um, I honestly don't even use cars anymore uh, when I'm not doing the story missions. I'll just walk everywhere and discover stuff because that's like the that's like the best part of the game, honestly, uh, for the first five hours. After that, yeah. it's like, this is the same thing over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, the, and another thing, okay, Jake, why don't you, why don't you say, uh, you haven't talked in a while, why it's not like Chicago? Well, there's a lot of reasons. I mean, basically all they did is they slapped the uh, Sears or Willis, whatever. It's the Willis Tower now, but it's, it's always the, the Sears, Sears it's Tower. The Sears Tower. We're from uh, Chicago, they, so they just slapped the Sears Tower in there and then added a couple a couple landmarks. I think I found Buckingham Fountain, which wasn't on. I don't think it ever turns on. I mm -hmm. think they couldn't. Uh, I found the the bean. Their version of the bean. Yeah, their version of the bean is just like a weird little loop thing. It's called it's the not Infinity even, Loop or something yeah, in the game. They had their version of the uh, face fountains and I think the John Hancock and, and the Corn Cob Towers. They had, and they had the plaza things. in Millennium Park. That was the closest thing next to the Sears yeah. Tower. Uh, that was the most realistic. Yeah, but then, about. Again, then again, that's not that hard to do. No, I think the big issue I had is that they made Chicago an island, and it's if yes. you've ever been there, it's not. Because if you go straight by Navy Pier, if you go up where they have it cutting off, there's there's definitely land there. Yeah. I, I can assure you that it keeps going well, there's no for a Navy while. Pier. There's, oh, yeah. Well, the Navy Pier is weird. Like, there's no Ferris wheel there. It's, it's short. Like I mean, yeah. I mean, it's short compared to the real thing. Yeah, uh, I could get down it in like thirty seconds of running. Yeah, I mean, and, it's definitely a lot longer than that. Yeah, um, and there's no there's no activity on Navy Pier. Uh, if it's a pretty big Navy deal Pier, place. Yeah, Navy Pier is really fun. It's a fun place to go. There's a lot to do. A lot of good food. A lot of good people. Like just walking around, having a good time. Um, there's restaurants on there, and there then the there's a bus thing, stop. The big thing is the Ferris wheel on Navy yeah. Pier. If you've never ridden on the Ferris, if you've never been to Chicago and want to go, um, my recommendation is you know you go see you know the Sears Tower, all that kind of stuff. Uh, definitely go to Millennium Park, but Navy Pier, go on that Ferris wheel. It's gorgeous. You get up there, you can see a bunch of the city. It's great. Mm -hmm. um, and with with this, it's if you look at a map of Chicago. It's on a grid system. It's very easy to get around if you've been there more than two or three times and mm -hmm. you know where you're going. You uh, the, streets, well. the streets are pretty well known. Uh, it goes name and then number, like first street, second street, whatever, and then like Madison, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and there's a couple canals going through Chicago, but this separates all the different areas by a big bridge that you go over and it makes an island of whatever area it wants. Um, I, I mean, I understand. I, I don't know. I think a grid would have worked better in the game as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe they I was didn't... confused by Wrigleyville. Uh, I'm pretty sure is I'm pretty sure Wrigleyville isn't separated by water. No, no, because they have Wrigleyville. Well, Wrigleyville, you you know it's supposed to mm -hmm. be. It's like over by the L. Yeah. But I mean, it it was just weird. I mean, you got the rights to make the Willis Tower. Why couldn't you get the rights to make Wrigley Field? It looks like they just threw Soldier Field. Wrigley Field and then like U.S. Cellular and made them one thing. Yeah, it was it was and weird. It's it's way smaller than the real Chicago is. Way yeah. smaller. Way smaller. Uh, I mean, I understand like the, the difficulty in programming that big of a thing, but if you look at like 
Skyrim or especially GTA 5. GTA 5 is the same type of game that this is, you know, third person, open world. Uh, they added a lot of stuff you could do, but you've always done this stuff before in different games. Hacking into somebody's bank account is just a farther version of pickpocketing someone in Assassin's Creed. Mm -hmm. um, bringing up the road blockers, it's, uh, like, I don't know, what would you compare that to? It's like in Need for Speed. You could blow up yeah. steam pipes in, in uh, one of the new Need for Speeds. And you could do that in Watch Dogs. It's like they mashed all of like the open world games and driving games and stuff hoped like it that would together work. and hoped it would work. But in my opinion, it doesn't if you're in it for a good game. If you're in it just mm -hmm. to have fun and you just want to screw around and whatever, go for it. I mean, it's a fun open world game, but it doesn't have that replayability value. Um, and about like the open world thing... Mm -hmm. A lot of the open world games that I like, you know, the, the Elder Scrolls series, the GTA mm -hmm. series, all that kind of stuff, especially like Red Dead, um, when, you, when, you put, when you put it in the game the first time you start playing, it doesn't make you feel super powerful. Mm -hmm. um, maybe, in, maybe in GTA V because you're robbing the bank, I guess, but... It's still, it's very small, and they do that in the beginning of Watch Dogs. Mm -hmm. um, but then as soon as you exit that beginning, you can do everything. Yeah, you everything. can do pretty much everything you want. Um, it doesn't take that long to unlock. Wise. Yeah, you, it doesn't take that long to even unlock every every feature. I think I've unlocked every skill almost in like a couple hours. Yeah, if you just go around and hack people and do like the uh, listen-in quests, all that kind of stuff, yeah, you could get that done really fast. Mm -hmm. And what in the other games, there was so much that happened before you, and there's so much going on during, and there's so much that will go on after. That's what makes a good open world game to me, when it's not you're the center of attention, when you're just a piece in that open world. Mm -hmm. This game was about the protagonist. Yeah, for it sure. It wasn't about the open world, which is what good open world games do best. Mm-hmm. It's got to be. It's got to be a whole story. It can't just be a exactly. centralized thing. Exactly. When, you know, when you finish the game, you you you're never going to think about that Chicago. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it, it, maybe you'll talk about, it. hey, remember Watch Dogs and blah blah blah. But you know, still <laughs> blah, to this blah, blah. day, still to this day, um, Jake and I will talk about, hey, remember that quest in Morrowind, or remember that quest in Oblivion, like. From years ago, 10, 12 years ago, we would talk about that stuff. And I don't see that happening in Watch Dogs because all the no, side quests God. are just copy-paste stuff with no real story. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. So it's repetitive. That's what that's what we're trying to get across. Exactly. With the rant. Anthony like Anthony gets a little carried away sometimes. Yeah, I do, but when he when he gets uh when he gets going. But mm -hmm. moving on, I'm going to close this out. I think it was a fun game. But I would I would not rate it very high. I think I agree with most people. It's about a six, six and a half for mm -hmm. me. I didn't. I, I'll never play it again. I might not even beat it. I I haven't played it in a couple of days, and I really don't feel a need to. I'll, but, I'll probably beat it um, just because I'm in no rush to trade it back in. I don't trade. I don't really trade back in games. I just sell them on eBay because well, I, I get more money that way, um, and I could use the money for whatever I want. Yeah, but. Uh, moving on, uh, we we also have started playing MLB The Show this week, I've, haven't I've we, Anthony? I've been playing it. You have been um, playing it. I got it. That was the one of the first games I got with my PS4. Oh, yeah. That was true. Um, Jake, what do you think of it? As a non-baseball fan, I would say. I mean, you like baseball, but you would only watch a game once in a great while. Yeah, I, I'm not a huge fan. I'm a Cubs fan, so you know, there's never really a reason to watch okay. baseball, but... Sorry, we had a little technical difficulties there. Jake's mic unplugged, so. <laughs> um, so, my bullet points for MLB The Show. I really like the animations. I like the pitches and the follow-throughs of the swings. You know, people falling down to catch fly balls. People, you know, sliding. Everything. It looks good. All the, the graphics are great. The crowds look really good. Their animations are awesome. I like the uh, different ways you can play. The different pitching, batting, fielding. I really like... The quick counts, I think that's helpful if you don't want to play a game for an hour, because I did play a full game and it took me almost an hour. 
I like the carryover of saves. I feel like all sports games should do this. I'm yeah. getting really tired um, of about the carryover of saves. It's the, I think this is the sports, for, first sports game that's done that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think so. If you played anything else, like most people in the world, on Madden, on anything, NBA, whatever, you know, you, you play a career, you put so many hours into it, and then when the new game comes out, like, you know, it's just, you, it was pointless. I mm-hmm. mean, you had some fun, but yeah. all the points that you've put into all the work that you've done, all that kind of stuff, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, it's all for not. Because it a just big game like over. that, especially with the new man's with that uh, ultimate team, I put a lot of time into those ultimate mm-hmm. teams. And People put a lot of money into those ultimate teams. Yeah, you can pay for card packs, and yeah. in you know, in the next year, unless you want to keep playing the old Madden, uh, when does that? Not it's, really. It's like. I don't know. There's no point. No. Um, yeah. So yeah, in, my... in MLB, you can save uh, to the cloud or whatever it is. Uh, your your road to the show, which is their career mode, uh, your franchise, that kind of stuff, and you can load it up in MLB 16 if you want. In MLB 17, it's going to be compatible with all versions from here on out. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is fantastic. I love yeah, it's that. awesome. I absolutely I love that. I think that's a great idea. I mm-hmm. I think my only major issue because you have the CD, I have the digital version, mm-hmm. is the load times are a little bit longer. Mine take almost about a, like thirty seconds to a minute per game to load, yeah. but it's it's tolerable. Mine, the mine game's are about worth it. Fifteen to thirty. Uh, it's, it's totally worth it. Yeah. I can I can deal with the weight. Right. I uh, I really like the show. I think it's probably one of the better done versions of Make Your Own Pro. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's coming from Jake, who hasn't played a show game since the PS2. Yeah, he never so. had a PS3, so it's been um, a while. Yeah, so this is like completely new to him. I played MLB The Show 13. MLB The Show 14 has a lot of improvements over MLB 13. Uh, so if you're still sticking with The Show 13 uh, and you're interested in getting 14, do it. I'd- I'd say get it too. It's completely worth it. There's so much, I'm, and the carrying uh, over the saves completely sold it for me. Yeah, um, I'll probably keep buying MLB. Yeah, indefinitely for now. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, uh, so far, my first impression of it, I definitely say it's probably one of the best sports games I've played, besides like ESPN NFL 2K5. That'll always be my number one. But if anybody's ever even played that, you know that that's the best I, sports I want, game I've played. I want 2K Sports to take back NFL so bad. It'd be amazing. Um. Yeah, so what are you looking forward to coming out, Jake? Well, I have uh, Dragon Age, the new one, the Inquisition, coming out um, in October. I'm looking my forward birthday. to that. Yeah, your birthday. It comes out on my birthday. It does. I am ordering the deluxe edition, so you get a couple extra things, like a, like a throne, an, an extra steed, an armored steed or whatever. Basically, just you know that, that regular, just generic, throw it in there stuff. Yeah. I'm looking forward to whenever the Doom beta comes out, because I really want to try that. Yes. Absolutely. I think that's going to be awesome. It which came the with the same engine as uh, Wolfenstein. It's going to look gorgeous. It's going to look really good, and it's going to be awesome. Uh, a lot of games I was looking forward to this year actually have gotten pushed back, mm-hmm. so it's kind of hard to say. I might play Drive Club whenever that comes out. Uh, that comes out but, on my birthday as well. Um, There's like I mean, real- six games coming out on my birthday. <laughs> Realistically, though, I'm not going to be playing much until the fourth quarter of the gaming year. Probably mostly sports games. I'll probably be playing MLB till. Madden comes out, realistically. Nothing's coming out that I'm really uh, that interested in. What about EA Sports UFC? I'm not a fan of UFC. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm going to game fan. fly it. Yeah, I mean, I've never been a huge fan of it. Maybe I'll, I'll, I might even just go red box it. Because um, usually I get like maybe 10 to 15 hours out of the career mode in that game, and then it's just like no real point in going on. Like, I've defended the title four times in a row. You know, mm-hmm. my stats are going down because I'm getting old. That type yeah. of stuff. That's always my problem with career modes in other games. I feel like in the show it's going to be a little harder because I didn't pre-order it, so I didn't get that 30,000 points to start. Mm-hmm. So my pitcher's sitting at a 65 overall average when I'm behind David Price, who is at a 93 overall yeah. average, to be the ace. Yeah, so, you, you are playing a starting pitcher. Um, I'm playing yeah. a starting pitcher as well. I also have a first baseman going. Um, Jake, you said you had a right fielder going, but you're playing the pitcher. I do have a, I, I'm playing the pitcher primarily. Yeah. I do have a right fielder, though. Uh, pitching's very fun in that game. I love I it. Like I think it it's lot. awesome. Um, and the sliders, because uh, Jake and I are actually going to play maybe later today. Um, maybe. 
before the Hawks game. Uh, the Hawks, Hawks game. are in, you know, Game Seven of the Western game Conference seven. Finals. Game Seven, it's a big LA deal. Kings. I have yeah. a Bears hoodie on, but it, I do, I believe Chicago it doesn't matter. Yeah, every sport. Uh, every even I I like the Cubs and the White Sox honestly. Uh, I mean, if, I don't like the, the White Sox. Chicago, if Chicago team wins, I'm happy. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna put them down. Like, uh, fuck the Packers though. Anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> but those are my points. I definitely. I definitely give it a good solid rating. Um, I think we should talk about our articles, though, that we have, because I feel like people are going to want to hear about some of these things. I was just uh, getting into that. Uh, I'll go first. Yeah, uh, this is our This is our TV special. Um, if any TV. Of you, if any of you uh, like Chelsea Handler, uh, unfortunately, Chelsea Lately is ending in August. Uh, the contract expires at the end of the year, but she chose to end it early. Um. The Late Late Show, I believe, it has an opening. Um, TBS just canceled the Pete Holmes show, which I'm sad about. I like the Pete Holmes show. Oh, yeah, that was a, that was pretty cool. Uh, it just didn't have the viewership, I think, because it was just too late. And from what I'm getting, a lot of late night shows are getting t- canceled. Uh, yesterday, yeah. Arsenio Hall was canceled. I actually like him. Um, I like a lot of the people he has on there. He has good guests. He's fun. Um, it's sad he was canceled for the second time. Um Craig Ferguson is leaving. Uh, I really like Craig Ferguson. Stephen Colbert has taken over the Late Show. Yeah, that's gonna be kind of weird, but we'll see yeah, how that I, works. I'm interested to see how he does it because it's not gonna be in character. It's gonna be. Yeah, I'm interested him. to see how, like, how he how he does is mm-hmm. just himself. He seems like a really good person, though. Yeah. Um, I, I I love Stephen Colbert. Colbert Report was one of the best. I, I loved that show. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, so she might be taken over somewhere else, uh, but there are rumors that Netflix has a deal in the works with her, uh, so she might move her show over to Netflix, where it could be be unrated, Mm -hmm. because she's crude. I I love Chelsea Handler. She's fun. Um, Mm -hmm. She's crude. She likes to talk about, you know, whatever, and I I appreciate that, because I think we need more of that, but anyway, uh, I'm, I'm I'm hoping she does something somewhere. Uh, she's having a one hour long send off special at the end of August from E. Uh, so if you've never watched Chelsea Handler, I'd give it a shot. I mean, she's good. I like her a lot. Um, Jake, what's your article? Uh, my article is about community. And if you've ever watched community, it's a pretty funny show. I mean, I they enjoy it. They've gotten canceled now for the second time. Mm-hmm. They were canceled, I believe in 2010 or 2011. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were gone for one or two years. And I don't remember, but I know they brought it back, and they've actually just recently canceled it. Yes. But they, the show, the people, the cast on the show still has the dream of making the sixth season and a movie. Mm-hmm. And that was the original goal. Yeah, that was the original goal. And Hulu is actually working with them right now. There's not anything official, but there's rumors that Hulu is working with the cast and people and the producers of Community to bring it back for a sixth season and possibly a movie, which would be cool. Yeah. There's a lot of people excited about it. I'm reading on here. I'll probably read some comments after Anthony puts a little bit of input yeah, into it. Uh, community has a really good following. It's it's like a cult following. I mean, not a lot of people watch it live, though, which is why mm-hmm. NBC has trouble keeping it on air. They don't have, like, excuses for it. Um, yeah. But I know a lot of people who watch Community. A lot of people really enjoy Community. Dan Harmon's a fantastic writer. Um, he he uh, writes Rick and Morty. Uh, on Adult Swim, that's great too. Um, I don't know. I, I really enjoy the writing. I love the cast. Uh, it's sad to see it go a second time. I watched it, but then again, I didn't watch it live. I watched it on mm-hmm. demand. Um, it's because there's so much good TV right now that it makes it hard to prioritize. I, I recently yeah. started watching Fargo on FX. Uh, that's a really good show. Uh, it's got. Um, what's his face? Uh, <laughs> Billy Bob Thornton. And he's kind of like a crazy guy. And then it's got mm. Martin Freeman, uh, Bilbo Baggins in the new or, movies. Or from Sherlock. Or from Sherlock, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah it's it's good. I like it a lot. Yeah. But anyway. But anyway. Um, uh, why don't you go to your list, Jake? I'm going to I'm going to I will I will go to my list, but I want to read some comments first okay. because PR people super excited. There this is um by the way, on Nerdist.com. And there's a there's a person here named Andrew, and he said, duh, hashtag six season and movie, and a community slash reading rainbow Chris, uh, crossover spinoff where Troy reads to Island Kids on his trip. By the way, reading rainbow is back, in case you didn't know. 
Yeah. Actually, no. It's not back? No, that was I, – I did want to talk to you about that. I completely forgot about it. Um, the, the Kickstarter uh, succeeded in everything, but if you read the Kickstarter, it's for an app. It's not for the oh, show. It's not bringing the show sucks. back. It's for an app. It's for a paid app, too. Mm. Um, but the, the Kickstarter was to bring that app into um, lower class um, classrooms. So for free to those. Oh, okay. Uh, so I kind of got that off the ground. I support it. I love LeVar Burton. Reading Rainbow was my shit. Reading Rainbow was awesome. Well, then I'm not reading any more of those comments. So I'm going to go to my list now. Right. So... Anthony did a list last week. I have a list off of, ironically, funnylists.net. Yeah, I've, uh, I am not aware of what this list is. Yep. This list is uh, what men should never say after the, I'm not going to use the word, but it's the bang boom. We all know what it is. Oh. Uh, number one, I was kidding about being sterile, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Number two, do you always fart like that when someone shoves it in? Number three, how come it's so big in there? Ooh. Number four, you've done this with a lot of guys before, right? <laughs> Number five, next time I come over, don't bother with the underwear, okay? Wow. Oh, yeah. Is that cat food? Ooh. Okay, guys, it's a wrap, cut, and print it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you're great in bed, but your sister gives better head. Ooh. My first wife was prettier, but you can screw a lot better. Do you know what a douche is? <laughs> Maybe if you did some push-ups, your boobs would grow. <laughs> I want you to try some of my deodorant. Uh, a little uh, secret I'm not... here. My girlfriend actually loves my deodorant. I, uh, pff, it works. I, 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 I'm a sweaty person. I am a very I'm sweaty person. Su Perton? Perton? I'm um, a sweaty person. So yeah, I have to use the extra strength stuff. <laughs> I actually use the degree adrenaline that activates when you move. Because yeah. when I walk, I sweat. Yeah, same here. I use the same stuff. I've used it since I found out you used it, and then I used it, and then it worked, so I've used it. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been getting these little blisters lately. <laughs> you want to do the dishes before you leave? Oh. <laughs> and I'm just going to end it on uh, one on one last one. <laughs> I never saw a girl with hairy tits before. Wow. Oh. Whoever made that list is a sick, sick person. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right. Well, uh, we're coming up on this probably 25 minutes right now. Uh, okay. That's that's about the time we shoot for every time. Yeah. So uh, I just want to say thank you so much yeah, for, for sure. everything, you know, all the viewers. Um, we have nine gotten, subscribers, I think. Yeah, yeah, nine subscribers. Shout out to you guys. Um, one of them is probably my girlfriend, though. Actually, one yeah. of them is my girlfriend. So we have eight subscribers. Isn't one of them you? Um, no, my other channel. Oh, oh like okay. Like my personal thing. Um, but anyway, uh, thank you so much. We've we've got I think Jake's at 147 views of the, as of this morning for something like that. Videos combined. Um, just way more than we could have hoped for. Yeah, we thought we were gonna get like 10 or 15 views of video if we were lucky. Maybe maybe 40. On the Watch Dogs video, just because it had Watch Dogs in the title. Yeah. So if you, don't, if you don't already, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz that everyone asks you to do. For sure. Um, follow us on Twitter, at SleshRoz. Um, I tweet all the time. Jake does tweet all the time. He loves his hashtags. I do love hashtags. When you see, when you see like, four hashtags, you'll know it's Jake. Yeah, that's um, my, those are my posts. Me, I'm just more straightforward to the point, maybe one hashtag. Uh, I'll accept the hashtag. Also, we'll, we'll usually tag it. Like, we'll put, like, J or A, whatever. Yeah, sometimes. Um, but, yeah, like us on Facebook. Slush Roz is the Facebook page. Yeah. Uh, both links are in the uh, banner. On the channel. Both. Yeah, on, on the channel. In the About um, section. So, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. We, we really appreciate this. We're, we're loving we do. doing this. We're having a great time. Um, and we're going to go enjoy our Sunday. Jake, uh, when's your wife having your baby? She is having the baby's due Wednesday. It is June first today, right? Mm -hmm. She's yes. due on the fourth. So we're hoping today, but we'll, we will see. We're not sure yet. But I, but yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my Sunday Blackhawks game, Game of Thrones. It's yeah. a good day. It's a good day to be a Sunday. Yeah, it is. Uh, all right. Well, 
thank you all very much. Uh, we you. appreciate everything. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, have a good one, guys. Yep.